Welcome back. Currently, I'm using HTML, but as you can see, it's just get displaying a very uh, simple uh, element, HTML element, and it doesn't look good. So we need to work on delivering a well-designed HTML page. So how can we do that? To do that in the index.aejs, I'm going to remove this message, and then I'm going to add the basic HTML code. You can do that quickly by typing exclamation mark and then hit enter, and as you can see, it's going to add the basic HTML code here. But of course, it's an empty HTML, meaning that the body is empty. So we need to add here in the body, we need to add the code. So in the body here, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to add first, I'm going to first add a navigation bar at the top. So at the top here, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to create a div here. And then inside that div, I'm going to create a UL. This UL is going to be used to create a navigation bar. So inside that UL, I'm going to create here LIs, and each LI represents a button or tab in the uh, in the navigation bar. So for the first one, I'm going to say here a tag, and then I'm going to say home. And then I'm going to create another LI, I'm going to say LI, and then in the second LI, you can here say whatever you want. You can display something else. I'm going to say here about about us page. And then I'm going to create a third uh, tab here, li, and then I'm going to say a tag, and then I'm going to say about, uh, and then I'm going to say contact, contact us, or contact. So now we have these three. Let's work on the design of this navigation bar. So where should we add our CSS code. So to add the CSS code, we need to open up the, here, we need to open up the, uh, remember the public. So in the public, I have here CSS, and then in the CSS, we have the main.css. So I'm going to open up the main.css. But before I open up the main.css, we need to import this main.css here in the index. So here in the index, what we want to do is that we want to import this file. So at the top here, at the top, in the header, I'm going to create here a link, and inside that link, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to say first, I'm going to say rel, and the rel is going to be equal to style sheet, and then the href. So the href is going to be equal to dot, and then forward slash, and then CSS, and then forward slash, and then main dot CSS. Because because the main.css exists in the in the CSS. And you don't need to say public. The public folder, as I told you earlier, the public folder is already known to the to the entire project. So node node already knows that the public contains the CSS. So all you need to do here is to say dot and then CSS and then forward slash and then main.css. Now in the main.css, what we want to do is that we want to add the CSS code to make this navigation bar look better. So in the main.css, first I'm going to add the following. First of all, here in the main.css, I am going to work on the UL. So for the UL, I'm going to say here UL, and for the UL, I'm going to say list, list style type, and it's going to be none. And then I'm going to give it a margin, so the margin is going to be 0 and padding is going to be 0 and then the overflow is going to be hidden and for the background color the background color, color is very important so the background color is going to be 333 and the position position is going to be fixed and it's going to be fixed to the top it's going to be fixed to the top and it's going to also be fixed to the left and the width is going to be 100%. So the width here is going to be of this uh, U, uh, UL is going to be 100%. The second thing that I'm going to work on is the LI. So for the LI here, I'm going to say for the LI, first we need to use the float left because we want float left because we want the buttons to be displayed uh, in the uh, on the left side. And then the second thing that I'm going to do 
is that I'm going to work on the LIA uh, tag. So for the A tag, I'm going to say display display block. First, we want it to be block, and we want the color to be white. Color to be white. White. So the color of the A tag. For the text, the de decoration is going to be none. The de text decoration is going to be none because I want to remove the line that's below the A tag. Finally, I'm going to give it a padding. Padding. So the padding is going to be 14 px and 16 px, and also I'm going to give it text align center because I want to center the text. Text align center, and this is for the li. And I'm going to also for the li here. I'm going to say border uh, border right. So the border right border right. So the border right is going to be uh, 1 px solid white, BBB, or gray. It's actually a gray color. And the border right is going to be no, uh, the, 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 last, the last child of, a, of the LI, the LI last child, last child is going to have a border right of nothing border, right, none. Let me now save and let me let me here click on file and then save and then let me open up the terminal. So in the terminal first I'm gonna close this. I'm gonna open up a new one. I'm gonna open up a new one and then I'm gonna go back to the first one and I'm gonna close it. So we need to close this down. So I'm gonna click on this and then in the new terminal, I'm going to run my application, node and then index.js. Now in the browser, let me refresh. And if I refresh, as you can see now, I have a navigation bar that displays here home and about and also contact.